All right, everybody, this is your host, Jason Appleton, a.k.a. The Bank Builder, and welcome to Upstager Radio. Now, this is kind of an introduction to what's to come, as this isn't the official show, but I am working on things. And when we launched this radio show, I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an idea as to what to expect. So I'm actually an independent business development consultant, and um, I'm going to give you a little bit of background. Uh, I used to be a loan officer uh, many years ago. Uh, Not too many, but (laughs) many enough. And, uh, you know, I did really well. I was uh, basically sitting around an office, you know, making 150 calls a day, dialing for dollars in the refinance business, calling trigger leads. And um, didn't take very mo- very long after I got my license. I, I built up about a $7 million loan pipe. And um, things were good. But I did not really like the job, to be quite honest with you. I uh, was really good at getting the business, uh, selling people and building trust and all those fun things. But I really didn't like babysitting borrowers. Uh, I didn't like you know telling people until I was blue in the face you know a million times over not to buy big things on credit cards before close. Don't quit your job. I mean, you name it. And I would see that so frequently that, um, you know, it would eat me up a bit. And um, it didn't take too much longer, honestly, until I was surprised to find the company I was working for had closed all 70 branch offices nationwide without saying anything. And so I was pretty much jobless and um, <clears throat> messed around a little bit, uh, worked for another bank that I, I really wasn't very fond of uh, briefly. And then I got a call from the branch manager that I'd worked for before. And he, he, he invited me to come back, and he's like, look, I, I know you didn't really like being a loan officer, but I, I want you to do something different. He's like, I want you to come back, and I want you to be my director of business development. You'll never have to touch another loan. All you have to do is bring in the business. But this time, it's going to be for the purchase market. We're getting out of refis. Obviously, with interest rates a bit higher, which was the cause for so many offices to close up shop, uh, everybody was pretty much forced to take a different approach. So that being said, I started off... Um, you know, establishing relationships with real estate agents, marketing, online marketing, that sort of thing. Took about six months. Uh, within six months, I had helped one producing branch manager with a small team of people under him who helped with processing and all of that fun stuff. Uh, I, within six months, I had him closing an average of 35 units in a single month. Uh, within nine months, I had him closing uh, as high as 60 units in a single month. So things were going extremely well. But there were some things that I didn't really agree with uh, in terms of the business model and how certain things were handled. And, you know, I decided, you know what, if I could build a branch this easily, I'm going to go out and, and start doing this myself and, um, and, and really be able to pick and choose who I do this for. So I, I ultimately started my own company, uh, which is Upstager Consulting. And I started talking to a lot of other banks. You know, I didn't realize at the time that, you know, I, w- I built a reputation because everybody kind of knew uh, who my branch manager was, and they knew what was happening, and they kind of figured out that it was actually me who was helping to develop this branch. And you know, we took a, a branch or a bank that nobody had ever heard of, and just kind of you know exploded all over the place. You know, working with a lot of the top agents in the market. I mean, you name it. And so I ended up meeting with about eight different mortgage companies uh, in the matter of two months. And I really wasn't that impressed with, with any of them, to be quite honest with you. I I was looking for something specific. I wanted a mortgage bank that had a, a niche or something special to offer real estate agents, something that would really grab people's attention. And I just wasn't finding that. It was just a lot of people struggling to fight against each other for the same business. And in this community, which, you know, around here in this market, it's a relatively small market. And we are a tri-state, so there was some benefit to that. But Um, you know, everybody knows everybody and the market's just not that big. And so I really wanted to find somebody that, that I could help break through, but had something special. And to be honest, after a couple months, I had debated on just falling back on web design and SEO because I wasn't, I wasn't impressed with anybody. And I told my wife, I said, you know, I might actually get out of the mortgage business altogether because I'm just not, I don't want to do this unless I'm passionate about it. I need to have that internal confidence to be able to really push it and stick my neck out. And lo and behold, I was actually connected with somebody who, um, he was a, a, a branch manager for a, a local bank who had basically been doing refinance deals for years. And he knew nothing about the purchase market, but what he did have was a system that was in, that would enable his loan officers to get everything clear to close in seven to 10 days, which to me was mind boggling. And initially I thought it was garbage. I thought, oh, it's just marketing stuff. And he goes, no, look, and you know, he showed me his, some documents, 
walked me upstairs, introduced me to his underwriter who was right there in the office. And, and, um, you know, I, it, it didn't take long until I realized these guys were legit. And so I, you know, within two meetings, we started signing paperwork and I, and I started in my first year with this bank. And so, at, you know, shortly after I got to work and, and one of the first things I did was I recreated the, the branch website so that it would rank locally. Um, you know, I, I started off into social media marketing. I created a whole line of new print materials that the loan officers could hand out to the real estate agents. Uh, pretty much everything, just laying the foundation for the branch. And uh, then I started training the loan officers. And I train them on everything from cold calling properly, you know, the, the perfect initial pitch, your opening lines, how to rebuttal, um, things to get into, the way to conduct the calls, conducting your meetings, your face-to-face -face meetings, what to do, what not to do, uh, pretty much everything uh, that you need to really go after real estate agents. And, um, you know, from follow-up, your CRM, everything. And it all went extremely well. And within, um, within the first six months... Uh, well, let's just let's just break down the entire year. I mean, basically, over the course of that first year, I had um, thinned out the herd a bit. So we went from 24 loan officers that I started with down to 12. But in that first year, we went from 90 percent or 90 90 percent refinance to about 95 percent purchase, and had doubled the production of the branch over the previous year. So we had done so well and everything was going so smooth that we, we ended up renewing, which isn't typically what I was planning on doing. I like to kind of bounce around a little bit, but everything was going so well. So we renewed. I'm still working with that client today as well as some others. And, um, you know, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, that's just another example of kind of my experience. And I've ultimately taken individual loan officers who are doing you know, around $500,000 a month average in refinance who are now doing, you know, a million and a half consistently or more every month in the purchase market. So, you know, this show is ultimately going to be about, you know, sales, marketing, pretty much everything in between. Um, and, and, but it is going to have more of a mortgage slant to it. So if you're a loan officer and you're looking to really learn how to expand your operation and build yourself as a, as a loan officer, this show is definitely going to be right up your alley. I'm going to go over a lot of different things that I typically go over in training. Um, so pay attention, uh, employ what you learn from this show, and I'm sure you're going to increase your business substantially. Now, I'm also going to have a lot of real estate agents and other successful loan officers come in as interviews and kind of learn their side of the story. You know, if you're going to a happy hour as a loan officer, how should you conduct yourself and what's the impression you're leaving with the real estate agents that are there? And we're going to discuss topics like that and a heck of a lot more. So, I appreciate you stopping by to check out this brief introduction to kind of give you a heads up as to what to expect in upcoming shows. And uh, during the upcoming shows, I encourage you to ask questions and chat. We are going to have some call-in guests. We're going to be doing a lot of different things. And, you know, all of it is going to be focused around making you better and basically turning a minnow into a shark and helping you upstage your competition. So I'm your host, Jason Appleton, a.k.a. The Bank Builder, here to bid you adieu until next time with Upstager Radio. See you soon.